Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. In this example, we have to find a volume of some solid region in R3. Okay, so we have a very simple formula to calculate volume. Triple integration dV. dV means dx dy dz. So the important part is that region S. So let us discuss what is the region S. So here S is bounded by S is bounded by See what have they given uh, x square plus y square is equal to 25. So we know that this is equation of circle in xy plane with center 0 0 radius 5. But when we talk about R3, so it is a cylinder and in problem also they have clearly mentioned it's a cylinder. Let me mention. So it's a cylinder. So its radius will be 5. Okay, since uh, 25 is a square of 5. So let me show the rough sketch. Uh, let me show the cylinder here. Okay, I'm drawing a rough sketch. So this is x axis. This one is y axis. This one is z axis. Okay. So I'm drawing a cylinder with uh, yes radius five. So cylinder will be like this. Okay. Okay. So this is a rough sketch we have. Okay. So we have this cylinder. Okay. Let us go further. After that, the second is z is equal to zero. We know that z is equal to zero represents xy plane so let me write here xy plane so the region is bounded by xy plane and this cylinder okay so as well as we have this equation also let me write here so z is equal to what we have 8 minus x minus y what shall we do we will shift x and y on in left hand side so we will have x plus y plus z is equal to 8 okay we can easily see here power of xyz is 1 so that's why it represents a plane Okay, see definitely this plane cuts x axis, y axis and z axis. Let us find a point of intersection. What will I do? I will put y and uh, x and y 0. If I put x and y 0 value of z will be 8. So this plane cuts z axis at point here somewhere uh, 0, 0, 8. Okay, 0, 0, 8. If I put y and z 0 value of x will be 8. So this plane cuts x axis at point. 800 0, 0. and if I put x and z 0 value of y will be 8 so this plane cuts y axis at 0 8 0 so that means let me join these three points so we have a triangular plane like this actually the given plane is passes through this triangular plane okay I cannot draw that this plane there otherwise the diagram will be so much complicated but see this plane passes through this triangular plane so we can easily understand this plane okay so let us recall the region is bounded by xy plane region is bounded by cylinder and region is bounded by this cross plane okay so this type of region we have we have to solve this problem by converting it into cylindrical coordinate system so let me mention here to convert to convert problem in cylindrical coordinate system in cylindrical coordinate system we put so we are familiar with the substitution x is equal to what r cos theta y is equal to r sin theta and z is equal to z as it is then dx dy dz will be okay so when we use the substitution we find jacobian and value of jacobian here r so let me mention r and then we have new variables dz dr and d theta so after that, what we do, we try to convert all equations in cylindrical coordinate system. Let us start to do it by one by one. Okay. So we have, what is the first equation we have? We have equation of cylinder x square plus y square is equal to 25. So if I put these values here, what will happen? R square cos square theta plus R square sin square theta we will have in left hand side. R square we can take common. So cos square plus sin square. 1. So that's why simply we can write r square is equal to 25 take square root so r is equal to 5. So the equation of cylinder is r is equal to 5. Right. So let us go further. We have this one more equation. Okay. So but there is no more space to write. Make a screenshot of it then we will go further. So now let us convert equation of plane in cylindrical coordinate setting. We have z is equal to 8 minus x minus y. x is equal to r cos theta y is equal to r sin theta let me put it here okay yes so we have the equation of plane now so let us find limits then first we write limits of z then r and then theta see when we find limits of z uh, as i told you earlier okay in previous videos 
we always consider a straight parallel to z axis so they have clearly mentioned the region is bounded by xy plane whose equation is z is equal to 0 so strip also bounded below by xy plane whose equation is z is equal to 0 so when we talk about bounded above so strip is bounded above by this cross plane okay so we have cross plane like this so when we have a strip so obviously we have uh, the strip is bounded above by that cross plane whose equation is this one so that will be the upper limit of z okay okay so let us go further let us talk about r so yes we have a cylinder definitely okay and we have a cross plane also but when you take a projection okay on xy plane what will happen we will have a circle so you know that cylinder the base is circle getting base is circle uh, so whose equation is r is equal to 5 so radius so as i told you earlier uh, most of the times what we do we take its projection of that region in xy plane so we will have a circle having radius 5 so the equation will be r is equal to 5 and in cylindrical polar coordinates what we do we draw a strip like this right so strip is bounded below by origin bounded above by circle r is equal to 5 so limits of r will be like this so we have to cover an entire cylinder getting so yes so we should rotate this strip by 360 degree getting so that's the value of limits of theta will be 0 to 2 pi so let us come back to the formula of volume outer integration with respect to theta middle with respect to r inner with respect to z so let me write here r cos theta minus r sin theta dv means dx dy dz but because of this substitution we will have r dz dr d theta let us integrate now first of all we have to solve inner integration which is with respect to z so r will be constant we can take it outside so this is equal to integration 0 to 2 pi integration 0 to 5 so yes r i am taking outside integration of dz is z 0 to 8 minus r cos theta minus r sin theta after that we have dr d theta okay so yes integration of dz is z i wrote those upper limit and lower limit after that what we do we put upper limit we put lower limit but lower limit is zero so no need to worry about it simply we have to focus on upper limit okay so we have some space let us use now hmm. so this is equal to what we have integration 0 to 2 pi integration 0 to 5 right r we have let me write it here r i am putting upper limit so 8 minus r cos theta minus r sin theta right and dr d theta if i put lower limit zero we will have zero see now what will i do uh, we, we will solve the bracket we will multiply each term by r and then we will solve okay there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let us solve it further okay so integration zero to two pi we have right see as i told you uh, we will solve the bracket so we'll have eight r minus r into r r square cos theta minus r square sin theta and uh, dr d theta right so now we will integrate with respect to r see, cos theta sin theta will be constant when you integrate with respect to r so yeah let us integrate integration of r will be r square by 2 2 to cancel 4 r square minus integration of r square is r cube by 3 cos theta minus integration of r square is r cube by 3 sin theta right with limit 0 to 5 d theta let us put upper limit so 0 to 2 pi see let us see what we have 5 square i am putting upper limit 5 square is uh, 25 into 4 100 right minus 5 cube 5 into 5 into 5 125 divided by 3 cos theta minus here 5 cube is 125 divided by 3 sin theta if i put 0 we will have 0 no need to worry about it so d theta will be there okay so let us integrate with respect to theta now so yes 100 constant so when you integrate with respect to theta we will have theta 100 theta minus 125 3 integration of cos theta is sin theta integration of sin theta is minus cos theta so minus minus plus 125 cos theta divided by 3 0 to 2 pi see what will i do i will put upper limit yes we are very close to the final answer i am putting upper limit 2 pi so 2 pi into 100 200 pi right minus sine 2 pi 0 no need to worry plus cos 2 pi is 1 getting 1 into this 
125 by 3 minus let us put lower limit 0 100 into 0 0 sin 0 0 cos 0 1 so it will be so remaining terms will be 0 only we will have 125 by 3 so when we solve the bracket what will happen this plus 125 by 3 and this minus 125 by 3 will get cancelled to each other and we will have only 200 pi right so this is a volume we have so volume so we should write cubic units okay cubic units so this is a final answer make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye